So uh, we work as a team, the bridge team. Uh, if there's any doubt, please speak up. Sure. Yeah, and uh, we all keep a lookout together. Yeah. Mabel's task is to assist in piloting the mega vessel through the peak hour rush. This ship right ahead of us, she's going to the anchorage. So we will wait for her to cross and then we will make our way in. Yeah? That's like weaving through a congested highway with a massive cement mixer. Uh, good morning, boarding ground Alpha to K1. Uh, if you're the Alpha, ready to proceed. It makes it quite challenging when uh, we are bringing a ship of this size. It's more than three football fields. It takes a long time to steady her on her course. Our clearance to Hyundai, three zero meters. Tugboat for APL Ahab. But even with state-of-the-art technology that tracks the ship's every move, training and experience are key. Shall we bring everything outside? Okay, you can push full power to starboard. No headway. Mabel's next challenge is to help berth this ship. Much like trying to parallel park a vehicle, except this one is nearly 70 cars long. And with less than 30 meters clearance from the next lot, one wrong move could spell disaster. Stop engines. But now, strong winds are blowing in from the northeast, threatening to blow the ship off course. That is the wind is pushing us out. Rain, I push full to a starboard. Sure. Let's help with the engines, yeah? Dead slow ahead. Dead slow ahead. Yet, the situation fails to phase both Mabel and the ship captain who work in tandem. We are almost there. Eh? 20 meters. Okay, 20. 39, stop 39. We are always tuned in to the changes that's happening all around us. Mother Nature, you can't predict that and you must always be on your toes to react in the safest possible way. In position, is it? In position. Okay. So now uh, we have finally landed and gotten the ship into the position that was allocated by the berth. I'll see you again. Okay. 